You ask me about that expedition to find the Kongamato, it started off a thrill, an adventure, to capture proof of the breaker of boats. We'd heard the tales, seen the drawings, that chilled the blood of the local tribes, said to capsize canoes, a harbinger of doom with wings like the devil himself. Five of us went in, only I crawled out. Days turned to weeks, the jungle around us, a living, breathing thing filled with sounds of an unseen monster. We found clawed wing tracks, massive, unexplainable. The deeper we went, the more we lost ourselves. Fear, obsession, the lines blurred. Jake, he was the first to go, vanished. One night's watch, just gone. We found his pack by the riverbank, torn, covered in a thick, dark blood. Sarah, Raj, Miguel, one by one they met their fate. Each night, a nightmare. We'd hear the beating of massive wings, a screech that turned your blood to ice. But nothing, no sight of it. My mind began to crack, the fever from a mosquito's kiss burning through my veins. The last night, the night I'll never forget. We were close, so close to the heart of its lair. The air was thick, suffocating. And then, the sky turned black with its massive form. It was real. It was terror incarnate. I saw it swoop down, its eyes burning red, beak snapping at the air where Miguel had stood just moments before. Razor sharp teeth, gnashing from within a smooth scaled lizard beak. I'd never seen anything like it. When dawn broke, the river ran red and silence hung heavy. The beast, it had vanished as if it were just a shadow in the mist. I stumbled back to civilization, alone, half dead. My mind fevered with images of wings and death. They said I was delirious, blamed the fever, the malaria. No one believed, they couldn't. They hadn't seen the abyss and blinked, not like I had. So, you ask me if I believe in monsters? No, I don't believe in monsters. I know them, I've seen them. And sometimes late at night, when the wind howls just right, I hear those wings, and I wonder if it's come to finish what it started. Soil Chupacabras original, and I'll teach you how to play Chupacabras trainer and be the best at training your own Chupacabras. The game is simple. You start in your Chupacabras homestead. Mama Chupacabras will teach you the basics, a tutorial of a sort, and then you'll start your own adventure in the realms of the Mexican border. The goal is to raise strong and courageous young chupacabras by feeding them on the goats and sheep of the surrounding villagers and gradually improving their abilities. How does a chupacabra stand out from other creatures? Where does its inner strength come from? Let me tell you, my friends, to be successful, you must be brave and skillful in using the chupacabra's abilities. Do not fall for any media hype. The secret is to not only hunt for prey, but to take your beloved chupacabras for a drink or ten with friends. Chupacabras love tequila, for instance. Take it to hang out with other partners. Having conversations boost your powers. Make your chupacabras a lawyer, a philosopher, a photographer, a surfer. Chupacabras can have different hobbies and professions. However, the important bit here is to dominate your game and eat as many goats as possible. This will scare the townsfolk and make you the most respected chupacabra quickly.
nature the strangest of them all thought to be extinct but now they're on the land with a purpose in their heart and a lower in their hand the 12 foot tall with deep vocal calls 14 inch three chunk footprint in the mud a clue to their rediscovery now they push shiny steel blades their mighty legs linger on the grassy lawn Still flightless birds, now mowing machines, cutting the lawn with precision. No mowing machine. Oh, what a sight to see, no mowing machine. They made a strange sight, but they're living their dream. In the heart of the city where the lights shine bright There's a creature lurking, quite a funny sight It's not your typical beast, oh no you see, see It's the Kapalubo, but he's just like you and me Kapalubo in the city stride